I'm sorry, brother, but it doesn't work. Okay, so I'm Go to me, going to vlog today. Um, not sure how much of a day this is going to be for a vlog. I did get my hair cut, very short. And Christine got her hair cut yesterday, which you'll have seen previously to this. Actually, you know what? No, you won't. Just kidding. I'm going to go ahead and add in the clips here. We're here at the salon and Christine's going to get her hair cut. This is, so this is a before. Let me see your back. And then I'm going to show you an after. And I got my hair cut recently too, and she's going to get it like this, except a little bit longer. This is, um, has the length in the front, the length in the back. Mm -hmm. And it's right So she wanted a short haircut because it's hot. It's a back to school haircut and she wanted to have short hair like mama, twins. I have contacts in today, which why isn't this focusing very well? Mama, there we go. Tell them what happened about my foot accident. Christine was running in the living room just now. Because there was because, because she she heard a game that she likes. And then she stepped on a Rubik's Cube and broke it and she started screaming, but she's okay. It's because it hurt. She's fine. So we'll see how much of the vlog today goes. There's Daddy Pig. And then she lost her tooth the other day. Move your tongue. There's a hole, but there's a tooth underneath. Open. You can see that white little thing. We've made our way into Target, and obviously we're in the toy section. Christine has a savings. Um, we've been doing this thing for her anxiety at night where if she does good, then there's like a rewards point system. So. She could have a friend. So the main reason we're, we came here is to get out of the house we were gonna go to somewhere else, I'm not gonna say, because I think we're gonna go there tomorrow, and it's really exciting and reminds me of Germany, but we're gonna go hopefully there tomorrow, but today we just woke up late and just kind of lazy about, um, but we're here at Target because we're gonna look at, um, I'm distracted by Nate's muffins, they're staring at me. <laughs> we're gonna look at Christine jeans for school because she has a, a school uniform so oh and my tattoo is it's been healed for a while but that's what it looks like Pacific Northwest so we've made it here um, in Manitoba Springs to Miramont Castle which is right here parking was up here and now we're gonna walk in um, so on the website it says it's free for military um, active duty and it's okay it's okay the bees over there. Look at Christine's short hair. It's very cute. And this is Oh look, you're the stink bug. Yep, come on, keep going. I got a tinkle in. And I got a baby. And you gotta go to You better be or I'm tinkling in their garden. Mm -hmm. I could crawl onto the rooftop right here. It's interesting. I like it. It's very like um <sighs> the alleyway in Harry Potter, the tea room. Oh my good, people are dressed in like like high tea ap apparel. Okay, well you're the one, you're the one. Miramont Castle, you're entering a historical site with uneven footing, use caution. So this was um, built in the late 1800s, I think 1876, I think is what I read on Wikipedia anyway, so we'll see. Now, um, the fun. Oh, these are fire grenades, old school. Wow. Oh, Smokey Bear. Okay. The construction of Miramont Castle began in 1895 and the East Wing was added in 1897. It was built as a personal residence for 
France, Fr. Jean Baptiste Franklin and his mother. Franklin came originally in ill health. He relocated to Manitoba as a parish priest for Our Lady of Perpetual Help in 1892. His first home, located where our upper parking lot is, was donated to the Sisters of Mercy for use as a sanitarium. He then built Miramont, which means look at the mountains. The sisters named the sanatorium Montcalm. In the early 1900s, the Franklins returned to France, never to visit Colorado. The Sisters of Mercy purchased the vacant castle in 1904 and utilized the building during the summer months as part of the sanatorium. Three years later, Montcalm was destroyed by fire, causing the sisters to move Montcalm into the castle year round. They ran the sanitarium until 1927 when the castle transitioned into a retreat and vacation home for the Sisters of Mercy. In 1946, the sisters sold the building to private investors who subsidized the castle into nine apartments for returning soldiers from World War II, at which time the building was renamed Castle Apartments. During the ensuing years, the castle fell into dis repair and suffered a great deal of damage. The castle changed hands 11 times over 30 years apartment era. The Manitou Springs Historical Society purchased the building in 1976 and saved it from condemnation. Thousands of hours of volunteer labor have gone into restoration and much more needed. And then here's the Smokey the Bear section. Repeat after me, only you can prevent forest oh, fires. It's because if you read the history, it just burned down at some point. Oh. Okay. Look at the stained glass. This was the welcome room for visitors in 1890. Oh wow! So, like Nate said, this was the welcome room for visitors back in 1890. Wait a minute! This is the one about the piano. Okay. What's it say? Where is the piano, and what is unusual about its shape? Oh, the double. The double glass doors is the Queen's Parlor tea room. Oh, that's where we have the tea at. The table, the chairs, and the sideboard is over 100 years old. This is over 100 years old? Yep, that's what it says. Wow. The table, the chairs, and the sideboard. Wow. Look at the phone. I said that's, there were no iPhones back in the and she's no. like, oh. I was like, no, this might be too. Nope. The next room is the serving kitchen where the servants serve meals prepared by the This mm -hmm. is going to be the dining room. Yeah. The serving back. kitchen. Serving kitchen. Oh. And I like how I put this up here too so I can read it. Oh, per room? Oh, yeah, because this one. All okay, so. Here is the formal dining room and what it says, so you can pause and read it as I scroll down. And oh, here is the serving kitchen. The parking lot is now. Yeah, that's what it says on there. You can and pause brought, and read this. And they brought it down an underground passage. Did you see all of it? That's it, that this It could be, it actually. Did. Didn't you just hear them? Oh, no. did you see an orb there? Let's ask her, can we do a private investigation? Yeah, okay, Nate. No, but it, it's not on it. Remember, I was Stanley Hotel. That person spoke to you. Mm -hmm. through the doorway, not the two foot thick walls, which are originally <laughs> east exterior walls. Oh, this is a, this so used to be, this. this is all an addition right here. To your right, you'll right see here, the door, which leads to the chairlift stairwell, slightly in front of you. To the right, you're in this more room, and on the grand staircase, originally a bathroom. Notice tiny left closet. Oh yeah, this is the this yeah. is the front for Well you can see the arches. Yeah. storage closet. It's locked. This looks like oh my god. And there's even there's wires little, and there's yeah. like a little notice seat. Says, notice the tiny locked closet in the north wall showing only the original paper, the blue and the blue and Floor Dayless was set in an arsenic compound called the Paris Green to keep the color from running and is highly poisonous. Floor, the Fleur de Lis is. Oh, so Fleur that's, that's what that is. So that's highly poisonous. Mm -hmm, that's why it's locked off. That well, wallpaper. What, why? Probably because back then they used a lot of uh, chemicals. 
And this is the chapel, so you can read about here. And here it looks like old Bibles, family Bibles probably. Yep. Yeah, Richards, cool. Arnett. It used to be, uh, those are the people that lived here, the sisters. Imagine being in something like this in the hot, hot heat. Wow, that, that's old. Oh, it looks like here's the chapel. Yep, here's the chapel. Look at this like nice little nook area and study. Oh, the glass is broken. Looks like somebody hit it with a rock. The way it shattered. Look, there's a the Game of Thrones. Oh my God, Game of Thrones. Yes. Top hat. Doesn't it remind you of John? Yes, this does. The way it, yeah. So this is original. Oh, for kneeling and praying. Oh, another thing for helping people. This is for military. <gasps> What's in there? I want to go down there. Nuremberg Palace of Justice. What? That's where I was born the in Nuremberg. The known as the machine gun ships. That's where I was born, guys. Wait, does this have like a German? Ooh, look at that up there. It's breaking. Part where they um, made a little secret tunnel. Oh yeah, oh. this was the tunnel that you were talking about, Nate. That's very smart, Christine. It's part of the tunnel, but yeah. too bad you can't go down there. Why not? Wow. It's probably not safe. Judge John G. Young. Trial of criminals before the Nuremberg Military Tribunals. Mm. Okay. That's for people who can't walk upstairs. Oh yeah. No. Ooh, careful, Rue. Hold on to daddy. Ooh, it goes up a little. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, this is nice. Yep. Look at that view they had. Wow. And right next to this room, it looks like there's a nice little potty area. I'm gonna go. Usually, you don't see carpets around potties just because ickies, but. Yeah, that's where we came from. Potties always make me feel like I gotta take a dump. This is Spoils of War, newest exhibit, American, German, and Japanese memorabilia represented in honor of picture of men and women in service country. Where? All this. This All is this? A, a war on the facts. From World War II. Oh wow, the French war, bayonet. Cut any war. It looks Civil War. Prussian. This is Civil War, January, June 12th, 1863. The U.S. Army Canteen from H Troop 15 to Infantry of 1896 carried to the Battle of San Juan, Cuba. Put this down. Mm -hmm. Water canister. This was their. Um, Mm. I love that we live in the century we live in now and how the medicine we have now because look at this stuff. It's like gold. It's like in the Molly Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and look at the ceiling, how it goes like this. My favorite room is that room so far. I wonder how like old this stuff is. Look at that view. Nate, Nate, we're gonna become rich and we're gonna buy Thornwood, okay? I, I love this stuff, I love it. It says this is a replica of Italian bathroom. Oh, oh, with the clawfoot bathtub, look at that. It says originally this room was divided and had a closet in the rear. Proceeding through the door and the mother. Oh, right here, out. here's more about it. If you guys wanna see. Pay five cents, drop coin and slot, and turn handle to use the toilet. This was originally a bedroom, but it was too small. This was a bedroom, and this was too small. Yep. This. So she made it her dressing room. This was too small. She made it her dressing room, so she got dressed in here. And this was her bedroom. Mama, the glass is shattered. Oh, yep. 
Yeah. But it was built to be a library. This next room. They have holiday decor in there. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? They said not to touch it, and there would be a sign. Where's the picture out of her bed? Right here. That's how tall, 13 feet. Oh my quad. Why would you need something that large above you? I would be afraid it would fall on me. And it wouldn't fit in there, so. It says originally this was built to be a library, but the interesting thing about this, the fireplace, Mm -hmm. On the north wall has been reported by the Sisters of Mercy to have a secret compartment, but due to the delicate condition of the tile, it has not been located. So apparently there's a secret compartment in that fireplace somewhere. And, and they knows? haven't investigated it? <laughs> no, nope, because of the delicate tile. I can't take photographs yeah. of the artwork, so you're just going to see my face for like a split second. But look at how old the floor is. It curves right here. And you, you can walk in here. This is where we were just showing where this is opened. And look at the look at the ceiling. Look at look that. How big it is. Oh, they can close it off with this thing. Oh, so probably like a private function you can have in here. Yeah, this but was yeah. Uh, the Great Hall. This Valuable art collections and tapestries. Originally a staircase came up in the last time. The grand staircase replaced it. So originally there was a staircase somewhere in here. A large stone archway on the south wall leads to the father's bedroom. This room is one of two in the castle with original oak flooring. Must be this room you're talking about. Yep, because yes, this is the archway. The so this was the father's room. Yes. Oh my god, look at the last name, Paulson. This was for use in a Grand View in the Grand View Hotel back in 1896. It was a gift from yeah. Dr. and Miss Barry Goldmunts. And this William D. Paulson is the one who purchased it. All right, this is Christine Cam and we are walking around Did about to get to the no, exit. This one's a pull cord. Yeah, mm. so let's be done. Here's Daddy Pig. Yep, this is a functioning bath or toilet. Say cheese, Mommy Pig. Cheese, Mommy Pig. <laughs> What's a cheese, Mommy Pig? Is it like a, a cheese to wash and the mommy and then the pig? Stuff in the morning and cheese the mommy pig. Stuff. What is that? Cane. Cheese mommy pig, cheese cheese mommy Weird pig. Cane thing. Elsa's frozen cane. Yeah. Oh look, the pea pot. Walk down. Yeah, Can I show them the view, Mama? Mm -hmm. I thought this was like four stories tall. It is. Let's go. Oh. It goes to the gift shop. The first room is known as the tower room. Uh, heat and water from the fire in 1972 caused the plaster and cement on the wall to fall off. Of the creaky stairs. Watch the ceiling. Alright, you can see it. Got his legs. Back in the servants' cool. quarters, and then you'll come back this way and exit. All right, thank you. Oh, pretty. Maybe. So we went upstairs, made our way into this look like gift shop. The hallway leading east to the gift shop is the original location of the servants' quarters. Okay, so up here is the servants' quarters. The servants' quarters were not considered living space, were not on the building plans, therefore, they were not taxed. Off this note, Narrow passage or tiny bedrooms and small linen areas. Notice the beautiful antique doll display housed in a formal closet. Yeah, the servants' quarters. So this is where the servants stay. Wow, Holes. look at the low ceiling. Now that's freaky. How tall I am. Look in there. <gasps> Stop it. Why? What was this? A closet? Yeah, this is a closet for the servants. That's a servant. Somebody who does all your bidding. Look at how tall, like the. Yeah, you, she can touch it. This was the servants' bedroom. And this is the little view that they got. There's probably a bed here and a bed here. Yep, that's it. 
They got a good view. Oh. I mean, yeah, the little view that they had was nice, but... Oh, this is pumping out AC up here. This feels good. That's crazy. This is the servants' quarters. Look how small that room is. Literally where these the glass things are is probably where their beds were. And then this room with the dolls is not creepy at all. It's just gonna nope. follow, follow your eyes as you, yeah, the, mm -mm. So and it looks like down here there's a couple things. Below is the only visible anchor that secures the castle into the side of the mountain. There are eight total and they each go into the ground approximately 16 feet. <sighs> wow. Nate? What? Do you not see this anchor right here? Not too long. Nine's West Spring tuberculosis hut on display in the upper part of the left. Apparently it's tuberculosis hut. So this um, room, which is right next to the servants' quarters, has been turned into a Christmas themed ornament shop. Can you imagine a hundred years ago when it was like servants' quarters and people like can you imagine they couldn't imagine a hundred years later. This is gonna be turned into a historical site and um, where I used to live and work and breathe is going to be where people can purchase Christmas ornaments. I love this stuff. I want to move back to Germany. Oh look there's a dingle you have to kiss me. I can't tell because it's a chop. So we're now leaving. We just got finished talking to um, one of the people that works there. Uh, she was telling us about how the Okay. This is actually haunted. The Crawford Coffin Races. Um, so over here, which you can't see around the corner, there's like this red, oh, red stone. Um, and this person, Crawford, Lady Emma, Emily Emma Crawford, was buried. She wanted to be buried up there. And then a couple of years later, something like that, there was a huge, I don't know, flood or something, and her coffin went down the side of the mountain. So now, every Saturday before Halloween, they do coffin races down the mountain. <laughs> and she was telling me about that. And she says it's, this place is haunted. She took a picture. Yeah, she, and Ghost Hunters was here or something like that. Um, we'll have to Google. She wasn't quite sure who. This is the Turk. We walked right by it. That's the Turk. She said people still have them in their backyards here because people would come from the East Coast to here because the dry air was supposed to clear up the gunk in their lungs. There's tons of tuberculosis huts still here. I would not touch it. Probably quarantine. That was that huge epidemic. Didn't even know this was here. Yeah, she was like, people have them in their backyards and just use them as garden sheds. Like, what the heck? And guess what? I even saw that when I pulled it out. I was like, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, this is the parking lot that's for the Miramont Castle parking. It's pretty cool. There's it a lot is. Of it is. And if you're active duty, you get it for free. Otherwise, it's only $9 and $4 for children. So, if you're Plus under it's six, haunted. it's free. Yeah. It's haunted. Really, really cool. So. Who's a haunted guy? I mean, so many people came in and out of there. It used to be sanatorium stuff, so. And oh, I think right there is where you can see where she was buried. And then she slid all the way down the mountain. 